Hello and welcome. Uh, I'm Udair Pratap Singh. You're joining us on this special interview uh, at our We Women Want uh, 2024 event organized by ITV Network and Shakti Awards. And we are now joined by an actor who needs no introduction. Yes, someone who's, of course, been entertaining us for decades uh, and a role model for many, Ravina Tandon. Thank you so much for being with us today at our event. My pleasure, always. Uh, let me begin by asking you, firstly, you are being honored today with the NewsX Shakti Award. Where have you derived your Shakti in life from, Ravina ji? I think, uh, would you prefer in Hindi or in English? Both, na? I'm comfortable with both. जहाँ तक के शक्ति का सवाल है मैं समझती हूँ जहाँ हमारी हिंदुस्तानी औरतें हैं ये एक अंदरूनी शक्ति हमारे में शायद एक इनबॉन अंदरूनी कायम ही है जब से हम पैदा हुए हैं and I think it's not only me individually or you individually or I'm talking about a certain societal class I'm talking about mostly the Indian woman जो हमारी हिंदुस्तानी औरत है because जिस तरीके की मल्टीटास्किंग और जिस तरीके की एक इमोशनल डेप्थ और जिस तरीके का एक आ, मैं कहूँ एक परवरिश करने का एक प्रोक्रिएट करने की शक्ति जो हमको दी गई है उससे बेहतर मैं समझती हूँ किसी और में नहीं होगी एंड आई थिंक हम सब में वो शक्ति बसती है कहीं ना कहीं एक पहचानने की देर है so it's not only me individually who was born with this strength. I think that strength resides in everyone. It's just up to us how we pull it out and how we utilize it. Yes. Today, you have this Puraskar, of course, for your adhakari. But you have this Puraskar for Bahaduri. And this is probably the first time or one of the rare instances that an actor has bravery ke liye samanit kiya ja raha hai. So can we please hear it for Ravina ji as well. Uh, how does that firstly make you feel? And secondly, just tell us about this incident, uh, you know, where it's not easy uh, for anyone, a layman, but especially for a public personality like yourself to deal with a mob and to rescue someone who works for you, your driver. Well, you know, I think, uh, I think मेरी जगह कोई भी होता तो शायद करता because it's not only uh, family but जो हमारे इर्दगिर्द रहते हैं and specially हम artists जो हैं हमारी एक तो घर की family होती ही है और फिर एक हमारी दूसरी family है which जिसके साथ शायद हम ज़्यादा वक्त बिताते हैं because वो हमारे hair stylist होते हैं हमारे makeup होते हैं हमारे staff होते हैं हमारे driver होते हैं हमारे साथ जो हमारे रक्षक होते हैं वो होते हैं जो हमारे manager होते हैं that is also our family and जहाँ तक मैं समझती हूँ I think even Tapsi will be witness I think we spend more time with our team rather than you know more at home तो अगर team की बात हुई तो team तो मतलब हमारे ही हुए ना so in a way, I think जहाँ ऐसा अगर मौका मिले where I have to take care of my people, I'll definitely step forward, and that's exactly what I did without even thinking twice. Because I think in these situations, it is a very instant decision that you take. के क्या हो सकता है और शायद क्या हो सकता था और शायद और भी बुरा हो सकता था अगर timely intervention नहीं हुआ होता. But the incident, as as you asked me, as you all know, uh, according to the police now, it was apparently a planned kind of a thing. And we live in Mumbai. Mein rehte hai. Mumbai actually is a very, very safe city. But uh, unfortunately, some elements that are moving in a few neighborhoods are dangerous. Hote ja rahe. And कहीं न कहीं always ये stars के साथ हुआ है कि आम जनता बोलती है अरे ये stars को इतनी security की क्या जरूरत है अरे इन लोग line तोड़ के आगे क्यों चले जाते हैं अरे इनको इन लोग इतनी देर line में क्यों नहीं खड़े होते हैं जहाँ अगर stars गाड़ियों में जाते हैं या actors गाड़ियों में जाते हैं लोग बोलते हैं अरे एक दिन local train में तो चढ़ के दे� and wherever, for example, local train or train, all stars go with their security. And the people understand that it is for show. But it's actually not. Actually, we are saving the people from chaos. Because if you understand that if Shah Rukh Khan is on the Delhi station, what will happen? 
इट बी क्योस एंड बल्कि दूसरे पैसेंजर्स को और कठिनाई होगी तो दर इज ऑलवेज अ स्मूथ वे ऑफ यू नो टेकिंग पीपल आउट वेयर फैंस कैन गेट रियली यू नो हैप्पी एंड ओवरवेल्म एंड सी पीपल सो एज फार एज आई एम कंसर्न आई डोंट थिंक आई वेवर रोम्ड अराउंड एक्चुअली विद सो मेनी बॉडी गार्ड्स आई हैव माई चिल्ड्रेन आई लिव वेरी नॉर्मली मैं खुद ग्रोसरी स्टोर जाती हूँ मैं कभी कभी रुक के रस्ते पर फ्रूट फ्रूट भी खरीद लेती हूँ तो बैंड्रा इज लाइक दैट एज अ एज अ इंटायर नेबरहुड बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली दिस has been going on in mumbai which is a planned kind of a thing or darane ki baat hai aur mere sath jab ye mob ka incident hua in fact next day my friend richa chadda called me she said ravina you will not believe the same thing happened to me the same thing happened to richa and unfortunately there were no cctv cameras uh, to record the truth so in fact uh, she had to pay up she had to settle the matter and the cops told her just settle it so she in fact poor thing went and settled so i think mere sath jo incident hua wo shayad darane dhamkane ki koshish kar rahe the ke kahi main bolu theek hai main settle karti hu main paise de deti hu ya whatever but i remember the mob was so aggressive they were entering my house my children were upstairs alone my husband was not at home and uh, jo mere male member staff ko dekh rahe the wo log kheech ke maar rahe the unko तो इनफैक्ट गेट पे मैं खड़ी हो गई और मेरी जो दो डोमेस्टिक हेल्प्स हैं जो सालों से मेरे साथ हैं हम तीन लेडीज लिटरली अगर आप शक्ति और विमेन एम्पावरमेंट की बात करें हम तीन लेडीज गेट पे खड़ी हो गई के नो वन विल एंटर द हाउस और वो धक्का दे दे के बोल रहे थे आप बस ड्राइवर को बाहर भेज दीजिए तो मैंने कहा अगर ड्राइवर की गलती है तो मुझे पुलिस को आ जाने दीजिए और अगर उसकी गलती है आप उसको ले जाइए उसको हु आई यू टू गिव जस्टिस हु आई यू टू लिंच आप क्यों मारा पीटी करना चाह रहे हो डोंट नो हिटिंग प्लीज डोंट हिट एनी वन बट आई डोंट थिंक एक एक जो मॉब फ्रेंजी होती है ना जब साथ में हो जाते हैं यू कैन एंड आई डोंट नो हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू हैव सीन दैट वायरल रील बिकॉज इट रियली वेंट वायरल या इट डिड इट वेंट रियली वायरल एंड आई वॉज इन फिल्म का सीन जैसे हो गया कि आप कवर्ज की तरह वहां तो बट बहादुरी कहां से आती है और क्या उस समय आपके मन में क्या चल रहा था क्योंकि इट कुड हैव गॉन एज यू सेड आई द वे आई थिंक मेरे मन में एक ही चीज था कि अगर बिकॉज देवर सिंह आप अपने ड्राइवर को हमको दे दीजिए मैं कहा नहीं अगर जो भी जस्टिस करना है पुलिस को पहुंचने दीजिए आप फिर आप फिर जो भी है आप पुलिस के सामने बात कीजिए तो दे सेड नहीं आप उसको बस हमारे हवाले कर दीजिए आपने उसको अंदर क्यों भेज दिया क्योंकि मैंने उसको खींच के गेट के अंदर खींच के मैंने उसको बोला तो ऊपर जाके बैठ जब तक पुलिस आती है एंड इट वॉज नो फॉल्ट when the police came they saw the cctv cameras everything it was just all false allegations and i think it was for what we don't know i guess it is again a full money making scam or whatever it is but nonetheless um, i think us samay ek yahi aati hai ke i have to protect my children and i have to protect my people and at that time you don't think of anything else except protecting the people who are near and dear to you and that's where it i think just comes out so it was not a thing that i thought ki agar main phas jaungi hoga us samay ye nahi tha ki oh main celebrity hu main nahi niche utru i was just a human being there and if such a incident happens not only with me even if i see any other woman or anyone else in distress like this i think i will always step up and that has always been me but is that what you would urge people to do because i'm often dekhte hain log tamasha dekh ke chale jate hain hamare desh mein aksar hota hai aajkal फोन पे फिल्मिंग ज्यादा होती है मोबाइल फोन सबके निकल आते हैं इंस्टेड ऑफ हेल्पिंग बट आई थिंक देर आर इंस्टेंसेस जहाँ मैंने देखे हैं uh, आम लोगों को भी बहुत अच्छी तरह मदद करते हुए एंड आई थिंक ये एक भावना हम सब में होनी चाहिए क्योंकि कहीं ना कहीं अगर हम एक दूसरे को मदद न करें और हम ये भी सोचें कि कल को हमारे जो निजी जिंदगी के जो आम लोग हैं और चाहे हमारे फैमिली के हमारे परिवारों परिवार के लोगों के साथ भी ये हो सकता है और उस समय अगर आपके परिवार लोगों के साथ कोई मदद करने के लिए नहीं आए आगे तो आपको कैसे लगेगा एंड दैट टाइम यू थिंक ऑफ दीज थिंग्स एंड आई थिंक समवेयर अलॉन्ग द लाइन आई थिंक वी शुड ऑल ट्राई एंड लेंड अ हेल्पिंग हैंड you know just talking now of course about uh, your career and uh, of course today you're being honored uh, with an award but uh, one award now that one thinks of when they think of you is the padma shri award it's a big honor uh, just tell us about that moment jab aapko pehle pata chala ki aap padma shri awardee banne wali hain aur ab usse kitni responsibility aa jati hai ek shakhs mein 
आई थिंक जिम्मेदारी तो सिर्फ अवार्ड से नहीं आई थिंक जब सोसाइटी और uh, हमारी जो आम जनता है आपको इतना प्यार देती है आपको इतना अपने आप एक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी आई जाती है कि हम इतने प्यार के और इतने आदर के उनके हकदार हैं अगर वो ये हमको इतना प्यार दे रहे हैं तो कहीं ना कहीं हमारी भी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी हो जाती है कि हम एक सर्टन मॉरल स्टैंडर्ड्स हम एक काइंड ऑफ कंट्रीब्यूशन बैक टू सोसाइटी देना बहुत बहुत ज़रूरी है and that is something that has always been with me i've always felt that i've got everything from what society has given me name fame uh, the status that i have today and uh, in what way can i give back to society and that's when i think uh, uh, my passion to do things towards uh, the improvement of uh, whether it's for our children it's it's is the girl empowerment or it is uh, you know the girl child or or women empowerment or it is to do something generically even for hygiene our civic society different kind of causes that i involve myself in yes obviously you've given great teachings to your daughter too uh, we see that of course the values already imbibed by uh, rasha what's one piece of advice you've given her in life uh, you know moving forward not just career but life related and also what's one thing perhaps you've learned from her as well यू नो इट्स 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 प्रिटी अमेजिंग जो ये आगे वाली पीढ़ी है जो हमारी आगे की जनरेशन है दे हैव अ ग्रेट रिजिलियंस टू बाउंस बैक वेरी फास्ट इनफैक्ट आई सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन हर एंड मी इनफैक्ट मेरे साथ कुछ हो जाता है तो मैं लेके बैठ जाती हूँ अपने दिल में हाय ये मेरे साथ क्यों हुआ ऐसे क्यों हुआ ऐसे क्यों अगर मैं ऐसा करती तो शायद ऐसा होता ये नहीं वो नहीं but nowadays ka generation like she comes to me and says she's mom forget about it it's over it's gone it was yesterday now look forward to tomorrow and then i think oh my god you know this is here my 18 19 year old telling me this and what am i sulking for about what happened yesterday so i think they have that uh, that that strength that resilience to come uh, you know uh, really forth and and bounce back well but uh, i think my advice to her has been very two important things that my father taught me वेरी अर्ली इन लाइफ ही सेट पहली बात तो जब बच्चा चलना सीखता है तो वो हज़ार बार गिरता है लेकिन वो वहाँ पसर के बैठ नहीं जाता वो उठता है और फिर चलना सीखता है जब तक वो एक आदमी के जैसे अपने सर को ऊँचा करके बुलंद नहीं चलता सो आई थिंक दैट इज़ वन स्पिरिट दैट शुड नेवर यू शुड नेवर से डाई दैट यू नो दैट स्पिरिट शुड ऑलवेज बी अ लाइफ एंड सेकेंडली वट ही ऑलवेज टॉट मी दैट वेन यू आर क्लाइंबिंग द लैडर्स ऑफ सक्सेस always be kind and nice to the ones who are holding that ladder for you because the day when you're on your way down always remember those same people will be holding that ladder for you and they'll probably be waiting for you <laughs> amazing piece of yeah. advice that's a lot uh, I, i'm sure that's can be imbibed by people hearing and watching you today as well uh, you know through your roles and a lot of songs you've done also you've become part of pop culture and i think that was very visible and evident when that song came out नाच नाच नाइक रवीना टंडन यू नो इन दैट मूवी कपूर एंड सांस जब आपने वो पहली बार वो गाना सुना बादशाह का तो आपका क्या रिएक्शन था एक्चुअली ऑनेस्टली करण ने मुझे फ़ोन करके परमिशन ली थी मुझसे बट आई डेंट नो कि इतना रॉकिंग गाना हो जाएगा इतना सुपरहिट गाना हो जाएगा एंड इट्स ऑलवेज अ ग्रेट कॉम्प्लीमेंट टू बी वेरी ऑनेस्ट यू नो जस्ट टॉकिंग ऑफ कोर्स अबाउट हाउ you've also uh, adapted to this new medium uh, called ott you know we've been speaking about that today with of course tapsi who's done such amazing work on that medium but also of course in the theater how did you adapt to this new medium uh, of ott you know of course aranyak is one great example which was a completely different role for you donning the uniform but what did you think of this medium when it first came out were you hesitant or apprehensive or you wanted to give it a shot I think my love affair started with the camera sans the medium that it is portrayed on. So for me the lens the camera is very very important. I emote for any uh, audience that would be behind that camera or whichever medium it would reach whether that would be television or it would be now OTT or it would be the web what we call it or it would be cinema um so for me it's it's my basic love affair is with my camera and with the audience that it's going to reach to 
So the medium could be anything. So for me, it's not an adaptation that, oh, there's a different style of acting that you do for OTT. For me, it's how you evolve uh, probably as an actor through the years. And uh, I think that just comes through. It's just a whole load and a whole many years of experience that leads you to a point where you are where you are. Well, you're of course an industry veteran, so I have to ask you, over the years, have you seen the parity increase in roles for heroines and also the pay parity as well? Well, I definitely have seen the parity in as far as the roles are concerned. That, uh, and especially I think uh, uh, there's a lot of inclusivity of women in the space that is our uh, profession today, whether like you'd say OTT or you would say films or you'd say even television. Uh, it is also being helmed by a lot of women and that is uh, the good thing, the inclusivity. As far as the pay parity, I think that is still run by the men. So to speak very bluntly and honestly, to a certain extent, yes, there are movies that are made wholly and solely with probably Tapsi uh, helming the film or me helming the film. It could be a Patna Shukla, it could be Haseen Dilruba, it could be anything. At that time, probably, yes, the hero with us, probably would, we would be at par with them because the film centers around us. But the minute when it comes to a hero-centric film, and even if you have a major role in it, but the minute there is a, you know, an A-grade hero or something, it's the producers, and the producers could be women itself. It's recently happened with me, <laughs> you know, where the producer's actually a woman. And I'm explaining to her, I said, listen, dude, you should be standing by me for pay parity because this is how we women need to support women. Oh no, but you know, we had to pay him so much and this was the expense and he came by private chartered aircraft and this happened and that happened and it was like, great, so why do you have to cut that from my money? So, you know, there are things which, which, which still amuse me to a certain extent and uh, that's where I find the difference. Whereas, yeah, like I said, uh, luckily, even Tapsi and, and luckily now even me, of course, this is my third or fourth innings. I don't know how, how long I'll play my innings. But nonetheless... Who wants those innings <laughs> to continue? Let's, let's hear it for <laughs> Ravina ji. <laughs> Never stop, says Tapsi. Yes. Unstoppable, yeah. I mean, she inspires me. She's so good herself. Yeah. And, um, well, nonetheless... it. Great, 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 yes. Thank you so much. It's really kind of you. But uh, yeah, that's, that's what it is. But nonetheless, uh, like I said, we are lucky to be doing films, the kind of films that we're being offered. And uh, that's when I think we get the, uh, you know, thing to put our foot down and say, listen, this is how it's going to be. But I think for pay parity, there's still a little bit, we still have a long way to go. You know, uh, एक पुरस्कार दिया जाता है आजकल क्रिकेट मैचेस के बाद उस पुरस्कार का नाम होता है गेम चेंजर ऑफ द मैच और वो होता है कि जिस खिलाड़ी ने गेम चेंज कर दिया अपने टीम के लिए आपके लिए वो कौन सी एक या दो फिल्में थी या परफॉर्मेंसेस थी और मे बी मोर जो आपके करियर में यू बिलीव चेंज द गेम और द कॉस्ट ऑफ योर फिल्मोग्राफी आई थिंक दो फिल्में थी uh, एक थी शूल और एक थी सत्ता। I think ये दो फिल्में literally back to back आईं and they were a game changer for me because people started besides the glamorous song dance kind of numbers I think people started accepting me more in realistic cinema as well and the thing came yeah you know I we think she can act too so besides everything else थोड़ा बहुत एक्टर का भी लेबल मिल गया हमको उससे। You know you were just of course praising Tapsi's work. And many look up to you in the industry. Uh, but whose work did you, when you were joining the industry, look up to at that point? For me, um, I think the eternal and the most ethereal beauty is Vahida Rahmanji. I used to love the films she used to do. I used to love the way she used to perform. Uh, she used to dance. She, she, was, she was just wonderful. And then, of course, Madhu Balaji. And this is something that I want to put forth that everyone always remembers Madhubala ji for her beauty. But if you see her films, even at that time, I think she was such a natural actor. You never saw her over emoting or overdoing or doing some loud things. 
her i mean her performance in in that uh, film with dev saab was it hum dono oh my god stunningly beautiful and so natural but the thing was everyone i i think she used to just overwhelm everyone with her beauty that everyone could not talk about her as the actor that she was and i think that was something that heroines had to kind of you know uh, besides getting uh, categorized in a certain kind of a stereotyped in a certain sort of way they had to fight through that that beyond the beauty there is that acting talent as well and that for me was the epitome as far as madhubala ji is concerned we ending now with a rapid fire with you uh, are you a beaches or a mountains person mountains okay. what's your favorite cuisine uh indian uh rajasthani vegetarian uh, which is the marwari that you know good and ghee and all that yeah. what's a recent film that you saw that you wished you were part of uh, i don't know i can't oh, think of anything or not so recent ah uh, not so recent no i can't think of anything honestly okay we we'll yeah. pass that question pass that question please okay uh delhi ayo to delhi ki sabse favorite cheese दिल्ली की सबसे फेवरेट चीज एक्चुअली मेरे हस्बैंड की फेवरेट चीज है चांदनी चौक का चना <laughs> छोले भटूरे किसी के चाट किसी और के आपका चना जी वो ही मतलब छोले भटूरे ही हुए वो चना वो काला चना और भटूरे दैट इज द वन नॉट छोले ओके अंडर रेटेड एक्टर अकॉर्डिंग टू यू अंडर रेटेड एक्टर मी ओके स्टिल बोलने में क्या जाता है <laughs> एक ही चीज है जिस पे टैक्स नहीं लगता आजकल एग्जैक्टली चलिए थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच फॉर बीइंग विद अस रवीना टंडन एंड विशिंग यू ऑल द वेरी बेस्ट इन योर एंडेवर्स अहेड एज वेल थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर मोर सच वीडियोस सब्सक्राइब टू द न्यूज़ एक्स YouTube चैनल हिट द बेल आइकन